blackfacts.com presents Caribbean Revolutionaries Lolita Lebron Lolita was born in Laras in 1920, a town best known for a revolt, Grito de Laras, waged by Puerto Ricans against Spanish occupation in 1868. In her youth, she met Francisco Matos Pauli, a Puerto Rican poet, with whom she had a relationship. In 1941, LeBron migrated to New York City, where she joined the Puerto Rican Nationalist Party, gaining influence within the party's leadership. In the early 1950s, the Nationalist Party began a series of revolutionary actions, including the 1950 Jaya uprising against American presence on the island. They conducted these attacks to protest the false and misleading claims by the United States government and Luis Munoz Marin that Puerto Rico would no longer be dominated by the United States. As part of this initiative, Pedro Albizu Campos ordered LeBron to organize attacks in the United States, focusing on locations that were the most strategic to the enemy. LeBron led a group of nationalists that attacked the United States House of Representatives in 1954. Viva Puerto Rico Libra Long live free Puerto Rico, she yelled as she and her compatriots unfurled a Puerto Rican flag and blasted away with Lugers and an automatic pistol. Police found a handwritten note in her purse, alongside some lipstick and bromo seltzer tablets, before God and the world, my blood claims for the independence of Puerto Rico. I give my life for the freedom of my country. This is a cry for victory in our struggle for independence. The United States of America are betraying the sacred principles of mankind in their continuous subjugation of my country. I take responsibility for everything. All the attackers were given minimum sentences of 70 years in prison and after spending 25 years in prison, they were pardoned by President Jimmy Carter in 1979. After their release in 1979, the group returned to Puerto Rico, where supporters of Puerto Rican independence received them warmly. During the following years, LeBron continued her involvement in pro-independence activities, including protesting the existence of a United States Navy base at Vieques. She continues to be an iconic figure in the ongoing movement for Puerto Rican independence. On August 1, 2010, LeBron died from complications of a cardiorespiratory infection. Learn more at blackfacts.com.